fall here in Region 8 and that means it's time to take a road trip to one of our favorite family fall attractions at Pumpkin Hollow. Ellen, y'all have been doing this for a long time. 27th season this year, can you believe that? That is awesome. And you're always working to add bigger and better attractions here at Pumpkin Hollow. Yeah, we got some new cool stuff this year that kids are gonna love. A new Gotcha Gun Battlefield. We say eight to 80, but honestly, it could be younger and it could be <laughs> older than that. We got a new sunflower field this year and uh, there's lots of fun things to see and do. Awesome, so let's go check out some of those fun attractions. That sounds like a plan. Now we're at the Gotcha Gun Battlefield. And Ellen, what exactly do we do here? Hey, we're gonna shoot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna shoot the net at, or somebody. And these are soft, so nobody's gonna get hurt. It, this is so much fun. Awesome, do you mind if I try it out? Why, sure. Okay. Now we're standing in the middle of this beautiful sunflower field, which is new this year, right, Ellen? It is. We've always grown a few sunflowers, but we decided to go bigger and better this year. And we're also going to be selling sunflower stems, and so they can take some sunshine home with them, too. But you'll also still have some of the other fun stuff you've always had, like the corn maze and things like that. Uh, we had Arkansas's original corn maze, too, since 1999. And it's fun that you're going to have to cross a bridge or two over a creek, and so a little different. Awesome. Definitely make sure you come out and work on getting out of that corn maze. That's right. Now we're on the scarier side of Pumpkin Hollow, Ellen, and we've definitely got some creepy stuff going on behind us. We do. We like to say family by day, fright by night. This is going to be fright <laughs> by night. Bubba got an overhaul this year, and so we have two stories of terror this year. It's definitely going to be terrifying in there, and also you still have the, the favorites that you've had for several years. Yes. The Forest of Fright is our old standard where you actually take a walk in the woods, and there's mm -hmm. some creepy people down there, as well as Misery Manor. And then if you're really a little too scared, you can do zombie paintball. Oh my gosh, that is so much fun where you're really shooting the zombies. They're not after you. Gotcha. You can even do the zip line at night if you want. And our last stop is here at the gift shop. It's definitely something you want to check out before you leave Pumpkin Hollow. Ellen, you've got all kinds of stuff in here. You know, we've added home decor this year. And of course we have all of our pumpkins, gourds, mm -hmm. squashes and corn stalks and straw bales. We have uh, new t-shirt designs this year, several different ones that are gonna be really popular. Mm -hmm. Actually, we have honey that was made by uh, from pumpkin flowers on Pumpkin Hollow this That's year. That's awesome. Yeah. So when can everyone find you here this fall? All right, we are gonna be open through November 2nd. Daytime events will be nine to six every day, except mm -hmm. Sundays, one to six. And our nighttime activities will be uh, weekends, uh, also through November 2nd. Perfect, and what times do y'all sell those tickets for the horror? Ticket sales begin about 6.30 on Friday and Saturday nights. We sell tickets through 10. We're usually here a lot later than that. And how can people find out any more information, directions, things like that? Okay, pumpkinhollow.com for the daytime activities, horrorinthehollow.com for our haunted attractions, and then of course we have Facebook pages and Instagram pages as well. Awesome, well thank you so much for showing us around today. Guys, make sure you take a road trip over to Piggott this fall and check out Pumpkin Hollow. It's a great time whether you've been here before or not. They have all kinds of stuff for the whole family.